Hey guys, it's Plus Minus here, and this is going to be a quick look at the NuGet running on this Nexus 6P. I just got this a couple of days ago, so I wanted to try it out and make a quick video about uh, the new version of Android. Um, let's start off. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look. Uh, let's see. Some of the new features of NuGet compared to Marshmallow is with Marshmallow, they introduced something called Doze. Well, Doze was supposed to help you with battery life. Um, what you should, what, how it worked is you left it on your table and didn't touch it or anything, and it would kind of, kind of power down, try to save some battery life. Um, it was geared more towards tablets than phones because you can leave your tablet in there, you don't have to touch it, you just let it do its thing, and there you go, you're, you're, should be able to save some battery life. But with those on the go, which came out in Nougat, it was more geared for t uh, our phones. Because we can leave our phones in a pocket, it'll move around and stuff, and that's how those on the go would work. It would power down your phone, try to save you some battery life, and try to make your your phone just last a little bit longer. So that's pretty cool. Now going into the actual phone, I'm gonna just show you real quick uh, what you know our version of Android. You know, there we go. Um, so one of the a couple of new things we have a new notification shade. Now uh, our quick uh, settings are on, on the top right here, so we can just access them from here. If we pull down, we can actually look into the actual settings, and it'll look kind of uh, how it was in Marshmallow. But now we can actually edit and actually move stuff around if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Um, going and then we also have uh, Do Not Disturb. That's one of the new features as well. Kind of works about the same as every phone. You put you turn it on, you won't get uh, any interruptions. So you're working, sleeping, you can, it'll just sound your alarm. So that's pretty useful as well. Um, another cool feature is we have multi-window. So I'll try it with Fitbit and, uh, and I'll do WhatsApp as well. And then we just hold our recent buttons and there we go. We go into Fitbit and now we have Fitbit and WhatsApp running. Um, so that's really useful. Uh, we can, you know, do our two things at once. Um, it also works on landscape mode as well. So you can have YouTube open. We'll try that out. I'll open YouTube. And then we'll WhatsApp too. And then we'll look up what's a good show. Let's look up. So let's say you find a really cool song you really like, or this cool video. You really want to watch it, and then you want to, you know, do your WhatsApp too, so you can do that. Good show, by the way. Uh, Vegeta will do this. All right, enough of Vegeta losing. So let's go to. Let me get out of this first. And there you go. Close it. All right. A couple other features we have. Um, if you have a notification, you can actually just reply through the notification shade. You don't have to go into the actual um, app and try to uh, reply. It'll just show up on here. Let's say a text message. It'll, there, there'll be a little button saying reply. You press on it. You type it out. And bam, you're done. So that's really cool. Kind of saves some time. Um, so that's very useful as well. We also have a bunch of new emojis. So if you guys like to emoji a lot, uh, you get all the new ones for, with this new update. Uh, there's a bunch of them. I think there's around more than 72 or around 72. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> we also have uh, something called uh, Vulcan. It's for gaming. Uh, it's supposed to be really uh, make basically console level graphics using that new API for uh, those developers out there. So we'll get better looking games, better performance out of the games. Um, so I, again, that's pretty cool. Um, also, let's see. If we go into the settings, we get a new look for it. We get suggestions now based on how we use our phone. And then if we go down a little bit. It, every little setting uh, gives you more information. So it'll say for apps, it'll say 50 apps installed. Uh, for uh, let's say for RAM, it'll say 1.3 out of 3 gigs used. So that's pretty cool. You don't really have to like go into the actual app to find some information. Maybe you want to see 
how much storage you have. It'll tell you right here. Uh, you about 20 gigs of storage left. Uh, so it's really useful. You can always just search like we always did. Um, you know, look up, you know, Bluetooth or something. It'll give you a bunch of options for Bluetooth and, and you can look up all a bunch of other cool stuff. As general performance, though, uh, compared to Marshmallow, it's a little bit faster, a little bit, you know, smoother. Um, and it works really well. We, we, I haven't had any issues with it. There were some issues in the first release that uh, it, there was a battery drain issue, but I downloaded the most recent one, and it works great. Um, but one thing I want to mention is that my phone is actually rooted. So I have super user on there. Uh, so one thing I wanted to say about this this ROM was before I was rooted, one of the main issues that I had with this phone, I mean, it's running the Snapdragon 810, so we all know it overheats. You know, it's one of the biggest things that Snap, uh, Qualcomm was, you know, worried about last year. But that's one thing I did notice with this phone with a lot of overheating. But once I rooted and I flashed a, uh, a kernel, this is a stock ROM. I'm not running a like a custom ROM or anything, but I did flash a kernel, and it really helped performance and you know the overheating issue. So it's something I wanted to say just in case you. Oh wow, this one's really smooth. Well, maybe that's probably why I had a custom uh, kernel on there. I wanted to say just in case uh, if you guys have a Nexus 6P, you guys want to root it as well. That's one of those things that really help with this phone. Uh, for me, it got really kind of really warm, not like the Note 7 exploding in my face warm, but it got pretty warm. So if you guys are having that issue, you know, root it, put a custom kernel on there, and bam, it's like a brand new phone, nice and cool. Um, other than that, guys, uh, you know, it's a couple of new features here and there, but nothing really too big. Um, they're just trying to like optimize a little bit more, make it a little more battery friendly and adding some cool features here and there. But other than that, it's like I said, this phone is a one year old phone. It runs great, runs smooth. Uh, battery life is OK. Um, it could always be better. I mean, I'll take two day battery life any day. But unfortunately, this phone doesn't last two days, about day and a half. Um, but yeah, uh, that's been our really quick look at uh, NuGet running on the Nexus 6P. Um, if you guys want to update it, we'll go for it. And, uh, you know, we'll keep watching our channel and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.